Maharashtra NCP chiefs Suresh Dadkare appears before anti-corruption bureau in irrigation scam probe. Thank you, Mark. Hi, and welcome to Metro Scan from Mumbai. I am Shama Mishra. Let's see the news in detail now. To combat rising prices of pulses and edible oil, the state government has imposed stock limits on pulses, edible oil, and oil seeds till 30 September 2016. Government believes that the measure would play a significant role in bringing the prices down. The amendment has been made in the Central Order under Essential Commodities Act to enable states to impose stock limits on pulses sourced from imports held by exporters, large food processing units, as well as large departmental retailers. The Civil Supplies and Consumer Protection Department of the state will be monitoring the situation and accurate survey will be conducted by the department. In case of violation of the order, the hoarders will be dealt with an iron hand. Meanwhile, the state police have carried raids in go-downs and hoarders across the state. In Maharashtra, raids have been conducted in Mumbai, Aurangabad, Pune, Amravati, Nashik and Nagpur. Ghar ki murgi dal barabar no longer holds any significance because we know the prices of tur dal and other pulses are skyrocketing. Here we have some ladies with us. Uh, Ma'am, aap bataiye, aap uh, dal kharid rahi hai, kitna kilo kharid rahi hai aur pehle kitna kharid thi thi. Uh, Aise lagta hai aapko ki state government ne koi kadam uthane chahiye? Kadam to uthana chahiye, just aaj ka example meri friend hai, wo share kar rahi thi. कि उसके सास को ये पता चला कि आगे के दिनों में 300 रुपए किलो डाल होने वाली है तो उसके सास ने बोलती है दो तीन किलो पहले से ही खरीद के रखी है ताकि उसको दो तीन महीना अच्छे से जाए इसके लिए तो अभी जिस जो एफोर्ड कर सकते हैं उसके लिए ठीक है लेकिन जिसके घर में फैमिली मेंबर ज्यादा है उसको तो भूखा ही रहना पड़ेगा स्टेट गवर्नमेंट ने आज ये डिसीजन लिया है जैसे जो जमाखोरी करते हैं या बहुत सारा एक साथ स्टॉक करके रखते हैं उनके ऊपर स्ट्रिक्ट एक्शन लिया जाएगा इससे आने वाले समय में प्राइजेस कम हो जाएंगे ये स्टेप के बारे में आप क्या कहना चाहेंगे ये स्टेप अच्छा है कि मतलब जो जमा करके रख रहा है वो वैसे ना होना चाहिए और उसके ऊपर कुछ एक्शन होना चाहिए क्योंकि पहले भी बहुत बार ऐसे देखा है कि रेशनिंग के दुकान में भी पहले डाल वगैरह वो सब कुछ मिलता था अभी वो सब कुछ कम हो गया है रेशनिंग कार्ड का भी जो तीन कलर में जो डिवाइडेड हुए हैं लेकिन उसका सभी को कुछ बेनिफिट नहीं होता सब रूल्स निकालते सब रेगुलेशन निकालते बट एक्शन में कुछ नहीं होता और ये निकालने से पहले तो मैं तो बोलती हूँ अगर एक्शन करेंगे तो बहुत अच्छा है so uh, here we heard the lady uh, she is definitely saying that she appreciates the state government's decision but it has to be brought into action it has to be implemented on ground whereas for now maharashtrians and uh, mumbaikers are really de uh, definitely reeling under this pressure of the uh, mounting prices of the dal but for now the state government has given some relief uh, to mumbaikers with camera person suresh kale this is shama mishra for dd news mumbai Maharashtra NCP President Sunil Tatkare, who is under investigation for irregularities in an irrigation project, today appeared before the Anti-Corruption Bureau. The project was approved by the Kokan Irrigation Development, Co Development Corporation on July 22, 2011, when Tatkare was its chairman. Sunil Tatkare said that he will fully cooperate with the ACB in the ongoing investigation. The festival of Navratri continues to be celebrated all across the state with traditional gaiety and fervor. Temples and pandals are full of devotees to worship Goddess Durga. Navratri is dedicated to the nine forms of Shakti and during these nine nights, the Mother Goddess is worshipped in nine different forms. These nine nights are filled with ritualistic chanting, prayers, fasting and celebrations. People dressed in traditional attire during the festival evenings gather and join in the religious dance called Garba and Dandya. Highlighting the strength and weakness of the MSME sector and to lay a roadmap for the future, Indian Merchant Chamber organized a panel discussion on MSME and small business financing through Mudra, the road ahead. While addressing the panel, CEO of Mudra Bank, Gigi Mamin, said that to fulfill Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Make in India vision, MSME sector growth should be accelerated. 
He also said that the credit outstanding from commercial banks to MSME is 10.35 lakh crore rupees in March 2014 and is expected to grow to 30 lakh crore in the next five years. He also informed that Mudra Bank is endeavouring to build an IT platform in partnership with NPCI, IDRBT, banks, credit bureau and other players as well. Lend around uh, 15,000 to 20,000 crore to this segment from Mudra itself. Uh, but the, the, the credit flow from the entire banking system, we are expecting to cross more than a lakh crore. An exocate collection of Pichuai paintings is being exhibited in the city. The exhibition is showcasing beautiful art in real gold embellished with semi-precious stones portrayed by eminent artist Suvigya Sharma. The artist through his paintings highlights the Hindu pantheon by using natural colors on canvas and original vintage stamp papers. Artist Sharma is creating a history by showcasing 3D Srinath G. Pichwai painting in his unique show. Art lovers can take glimpses of various forms of Lord Krishna at Bajaj Art Gallery between 11 a.m. to 7 the 25th of this month. I'm creating awareness about it so people get to know this better that uh, even this kind of art exists and this is like a legacy of almost 5,000 years and this is like the derivation of any kind of art so miniature painting is if you even take like the history so this is the way it started and the oldest art forms is a miniature art form that's it then in this edition of Metro Scan from Mumbai. We'll be back tomorrow evening with more updates from the commercial capital. Till then, it's over to Delhi Studios. Thank you for watching. Namaskar.